So uh, I wanted to clarify also again, we're at four weeks out. Mr. Check now is 177 in the morning, 179 at night. He started the diet at 195 pounds, was holding a lot of water and some body fat obviously. It was probably around, uh, I don't know, 12, 13%. I'd say right now looking at him, it's probably right around 5% maybe. What's happened is he's done everything correctly. We've lost about a pound to about 1.5 max per week on the entire time of the diet. So that's 10 weeks, so 15 pounds approximately. Anyway, it's me again, um, the good looking Fijian <laughs> from Down to Nutrition. But what's happened is, we're gonna talk to you about, we're outside, so excuse the noise, it's just the way it is. We're here to talk about the, the most recent workout, which was this past Wednesday. We're here at Champion, and what we were doing is we were doing the hack spots. And you'll see I've got him super light. I'm talking on the video where I've got him winding his training down. Okay, so what's going on here is Mr. Check. You can see he's in the hack squat. And you can see the thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds that he's got on it. If you can get the cameraman to check it out, the thousands and thousands of pounds we're using on him. What's happened here is I made a call to start winding his training down. Everything is going really, really good. And I want to make sure that we don't incur any injuries, no stress. So I'm gonna continue training him. I just This is something that I do based on each person as I train them for shows and myself as well. So I've decided that with his stress level and everything that's going on in his life, I'm gonna start winding him down. We're four weeks out. I'm pretty sure he'll be ready next Friday, if not the Friday after, but pretty much week and a half, two weeks out, he'll be ready. And that's what I expect from all my athletes to be minimum two weeks out ready. And then we just do manip and then work on basically just, uh, you know, the positive energy and all that kind of stuff. So when they're going in there, they're working on their posing and this diet, they're not stressed out. It's gonna take him to the continue of the workout and just uh, see what happens. Approximately four weeks out to three weeks out, on every athlete I work with, including myself, we start winding things down. The reason we do that is based on your stress level, meaning your job, your home life, uh, financial, whatever, your training, you know, your diet, your cardio, everything all under one umbrella. And then I make my assessment and I don't even tell the person, I go, this is what we're doing, end of story. And the reason is because I can see it in, in their face, their attitude, their skin gets loose, they're flat, they're aggressive, they feel like shit. And I get that because I've been there. My understanding is if I don't make those adjustments now, what will happen is by the time we get to the show, your person will be ruined. My legs are on fire. I am uh, absolutely white. Doesn't take much weight. You do it properly, nice and slow. Concentrate. Concentrate on the muscle you're doing and you will burn. You will be on fire 100%. Here, about to do his last set. He's only got 25 pounds on each side. He's burning and burning, really good technique, really good form and breathing, as you'll see and we've talked about in previous videos. He's got his last set and he is on fire, literally. His legs are sizzling. Long story short, I make those calls based on what I see and that's the end of it. Where safety comes first. So in Ivan's case, he's, he's progressively getting worse and worse and worse. And the reason is because he works 16, 15, 16 hour days. He's a manager of a car dealership here in town, renovating his house. Got, like I've said in previous videos, he's got 10 kids between himself and his ex-wife and his current wife, which is an unbelievable amount of kids to take care of, but they do a good job. Working on, he's working on other projects. He's working on his body, he's dieting, he's doing cardio, he's trying to be a husband, father, the whole deal. And uh, you know, it, it takes its toll. So he doesn't make excuses. That's one thing I noticed about Ivan. I really like that. That's why I'm helping him. He doesn't make excuses. He just keeps coming. But in the last week or so, he's really, really started to fade. So I made those calls. Back to the hack squats. What's happened with the hack squats is I got him doing the hack squats and he's like, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's all the big hero in the beginning. He can never burn out. You see that? He saw the camera and started acting cool again. Okay, let's fucking go. Let's see, what, see, see, look at this. Because I had previously told him about five or six weeks ago, listen, you're burning, you're going to burn yourself out. You're doing too much yard work. You're doing all this stuff. You're not listening to me. About two, three weeks out, four weeks from the show, you're going to feel like shit. Blah, blah, blah. He said, no, I'm not. What the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. He went this big thing. And I go, what the fuck now? So the other day when we did that, this is what happened. He basically said, yeah, you were right. Of course I was right. This is what I do every day. This is counter nutrition, man. Come on. We did the hack squats and he wanted to put on like 45s and go for it. And I said, you're an idiot. So I convinced him and I told him, you're going to do the 25s. I did four, hell, I made him do four sets of 25. As you can see, also Mr. Check has the Gunner Nutrition t-shirt, so you can also get that at the website, www.gunnernutrition.com. Wicked t-shirt, you gotta get it. Nice and deep, nice and slow, fluid, good breathing tempo, everything, nice and calm, lots of blood nutrients in there. We did four sets of 25, we shut that down. Then we went into the single-legged hamstring curl, and you're pulling up and down. So what I did there is I had him just lay flat because he was having his head up and down moving around. I'm not sure if he thought he was a seal, a harbor seal or something. I thought he might have thought he was a harbor seal because he's hallucinating or something. I'm not really sure. We're not here to produce harbor seals, although I like harbor seals. 
Ivan is not a harbor seal, even though he thinks he is. I had him uh, straighten out his back, and I had him straighten out his back so that he wouldn't pinch a nerve in his neck because he was, again, bobbing around like a retard like this and doing all this kind of stuff. So I had him stop, and I had him reline his back up like this, put his head down, focus on what he was doing so he could isolate his hamstrings when he was doing the hamstring curls. Oh, the goatee's gone. And so time. Look, okay, let me put it to you this way. Let's let's work on insecurity. His hair is receding. It looks stupid. Where? It looks <laughs> retarded. You know, <laughs> on stage. Where? What's gonna happen Where? Is, what's gonna happen is they're gonna see duck points. They're gonna say this jackass is coming into the open division from the master division. What's he doing there? Go back to the fucking master. So I'm telling him to shave his head because what I've seen is for these masters class and grandmasters, these guys are trying to be young. And so be it. You had a good time with young. You're not young anymore, man. Your hair's receding. Like, what do you need to watch the movie? Fucking uh, what is that 2012 to understand the fucking world's coming to an end shave your head act your age so be it I just think that's the best way to approach it. What do you, or BC's what do you what do you think about like do you think admin has got some sort of endorsement contract with Mr. Clean or something is there some hair sort of motive? club for men hair club for men 100% hair club for men so you think he has an endorsement contract with them or something I know he does to, okay he's trying to <laughs> trying to bring you into it eh <laughs> that's why they called me back See, he just Donald Trumped his hair. You see what I'm saying? It's not gonna work out. Shave it bald, accept who you are, and move on. It's my hair. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't Trust it. me, he'll shave it, or I'll do the wrong manip on him. <laughs> so from there, we went into the, the seated calf raise, and I think I put on 25s, I believe, and the same thing, which four sets of 25. Nice and low, nice and high, lots of blood and nutrients, four sets of 25, and we shut it down. Again, we're using thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds towards the last four weeks of the, uh, the dieting phase and training phase. I'm just kidding, look, we only got 50 pounds on it. <laughs> And by the end of that workout, even in the middle of the workout, you'll see when he's talking, he's absolutely exhausted. He's having a tough time, he's sweating, he's literally exhausted. He phoned me earlier in that day and said, hey bro, how's it going? I'm absolutely wiped. I said, you absolutely wiped your ass? What do you mean wiped? What the fuck does that mean? Wiped, I've never heard anyone say I'm so wiped. Really? Only in, unless it's in incantation with to do with wiping your ass. You do not wipe your ass. I wanna clarify that for the people like, oh, maybe he'll help me wipe my ass. That's not gonna happen. No, that's not the truth. Okay. <laughs> so he goes, uh, I know I'm wiped, meaning I'm exhausted. I go, oh, okay, he was wiped, exhausted. Exhausted. I got him through the workout and I've since since last um, Wednesday. Oh, sorry this past Wednesday I apologize. I uh, made the adjustments to his diet uh, I'm manipulating his carbohydrates based on him gaining 13 pounds of muscle since nationals last year 11 months So I'm trying to manipulate the carbohydrates in a fashion that will accommodate muscle sparing effects But also burn fat drop water, but sometimes with his job and his life is not able to get it exactly on So I would chew to strip off him tonight. You'll see in the video here. He comes into the gym quite flat You know his skins loose and stuff like that. No one likes to hear it But it's a fact it's my job to tell you and my job is not to say yes man yes man It's to say go fuck a kite and get the fuck back in the gym and do what I tell you to do I've made all the corrections today is Friday over the weekend. I'm gonna shut him down He's not going to train. He's not gonna he's just gonna do his light cardio. He's gonna work on his nutrition I've asked him to prepare his meals three days in advance. I myself do this, prepare all my meals, six meals a day for the next three days and are all in the fridge labeled ready to go. I put them in my cooler, a little bit of ice on there and then I travel and I do what I'm doing. He likes to eat fresh. And because he likes to eat fresh, he's fucking up his meal. And we just had a chat with him about that. So I'm asking him to make the extra meal so that he doesn't have to worry about that. So hopefully that does work out. If not, I told him I would cook and help him out because I do catering, right? Long story short, I said I would help him. So we'll see where it goes. Either way, he'll get back on track. We're gonna do a poll. Go onto the comment section when you watch the videos. Check the new videos out coming in the next week or next few days. We'll have a bunch, probably two a week. We want you to put your input in. Let us know. I've asked Ivan to shave his uh, goatee or goatee off his face and shave his head. And also, just to clarify, I do shave my face and my head when I go on stage as well. <laughs> I believe that that's the best way to present his physique, and a lot of people should do that. They don't listen to me and they end up facing third or fourth because they look like old farts trying to be young. You're 46, you're 46. You're 42, you're 42. You're 90, you're 90. End of story, accept it. So send us here. Send us what you think. I think you should shave his goatee and his, and his head bald for the show. Let me know what you guys think. So check out the website there, www.gunnernutrition.com. Go on there, check out the workout gear section, check out my story. You know, we got the catering, we got a bunch of stuff, you know, posing routines, you know, and we got uh, Jason Gallant, he's got his own section on there for uh, posing music and stuff. We can help you with a lot of stuff. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and call us. So again, thank you for watching, keep subscribing, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. It's Advin Gowner, back from Gowner Nutrition to talk to you about the guys that are out there that are feeling a little bit insecure, feeling a bit depressed because they've got their balls in their wife or girlfriend's purse. We're here to tell you at Gowner Nutrition we can save the day and how we're gonna do that is with our new Gowner Nutrition Merce. You can take your balls back with pride now guys. Go talk to your wife and girlfriend, get your balls back, put it in the Gowner Nutrition Merce. Walk around with pride.
Let me show you how it works. Once you get this bad boy on, man, I'm telling you, you feel like you're on cloud nine. You can just walk, you can just talk, you can hang out, because you know you got your balls back.